ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज द ऑसिलोस्कोप विद इन द इजी ईडीए डॉट कॉम इजी ईडीए डॉट कॉम इज एन ऑनलाइन सिमुलेटर इन विच वी कैन सिमुलेट ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स ओके नाउ फर्स्ट we have to search for our oscilloscope so here it is you just need to click one on the oscilloscope and then the next click on this main window and it is there okay now the main purpose of oscilloscope is to show different types of waveforms like a multimeter shows us all the magnitudes and amplitudes of all sort of waveforms etc but in order to see a proper graph or like a fully waveform we need oscilloscope so we have uh, apart from this oscilloscope we need to take our function generator why it is so because it is also called a signal generator so we can see it here it is so we need to connect the com pin of signal generator with the negative pin of the oscilloscope and positive pin of the oscilloscope with the positive of the signal generator like this yeah okay then we have to click on our signal generator and we will see its properties uh, it says frequency is 1 kilohertz but we will just write 10 kilohertz it says amplitude uh, 100 milli volt but we are supposed to write here as 2 2 volt okay now what will happen one more thing that 2 volt doesn't means like a peak to peak like a from it is actually from 0 to positive peak it will be shown on the oscilloscope when we will write here too as a, the amplitude here you can see it is said amplitude amplitude is the uh, maximum distance from the uh, zero from the zero line okay so it is 2 and it's a positive cycle and a negative cycle is at minus 2 so peak to peak is minus like uh, from minus 2 to 4 okay so now we have selected the sine wave amplitude uh, frequency 10 hertz and like this and then we need to run it out okay they said uh, attach the ground so we will take our ground and we will attach like this okay now we will run it out transition time is at 10 volt now you can see that our waveform is here and our Okay, now we can see our positive edge is at two volt, negative peak is at minus two volt, and it is the sine wave. The frequency is around one ten hertz. Okay, why it is so? Because we can write one, two, three, four, five like this. Okay. Okay, one more thing that uh, yeah, it is also considering one cycle as like this. Okay, from this point to this point. so that is why at uh, one second uh, we are just getting like five peaks okay we are just getting five peaks although in like a real world or physical world we are supposed to get 10 peaks okay because our frequency is 10 okay frequency is 10 so okay now we will change it to triangular wave so now we will run it Okay, now we can see that. Okay, right. the same thing that is one to it one second. Okay, now here uh, we are getting minus two to two volt, and it till like one second we are getting ten positive peaks. It's a little bit astonishing that. we are getting 10 peaks full cycles okay like 1 2 1 2 okay 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 
10 okay okay wait let again change it to like a sine wave what uh, it used to show us we will see so offset 0 amplitude 0 duty cycle nothing frequency 10 okay now we will see okay wait uh no it, it, it is showing 10 okay one two three four five six seven eight yeah it is also showing 10 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it is also showing 10 not five okay it is considering complete cycle as one hertz okay um in the start why it is showing i don't know but okay now we will go to rectangular wave now we will run it okay okay now okay wait we are supposed to like this thing okay so up to like uh, one two three four five yeah up to like 500 millisecond five and up to okay up to 10 like uh, up to one second they are also showing us the like uh, 10 peaks okay okay now okay so we can see that we are having uh, like 10 cycles till one second and it is also showing some sort of waveform like a square wave where it is also called as the clock pulse okay but clock pulse is usually of 3.3 or 5 volts so we cannot say it is it is just like clock pulse but not the clock pulse so in this way you can see the waveform shapes and magnitudes and frequency with the help of an oscilloscope so hopefully you got this simple concept that how you can use the oscilloscope within the easyidiot.com online simulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel